Hey everyone, this is Josh with a fun blockchain and software development tutorial for you today. In this video, we're talking about visualizing proof of stake consensus using microcontrollers and a simplified toy proof of stake algorithm. Proof of stake is a mechanism that blockchains like Ethereum use to decide who will validate the transactions in a particular block and get the block reward for doing so. This mechanism takes a different approach than proof of work, which relies on lots of computing power and doing lots of hashes to decide um, who will get to validate the block. Proof of stake instead has each node that wants to participate put up a stake as collateral. And all the nodes on the network run through a special algorithm to agree um, on randomness that will pick the winner. So how does this work on a peer-to-peer -peer network? There's no central authority to generate a random number and decide who's going to approve the block. We have to get a bunch of different nodes that can come on and off the network and participate uh, in this consensus to agree on the random winner. You know, because there is a financial incentive involved here, um, any node would uh, have in their best interest to pick a random number that picks them so they get to validate the block and get the reward. But that's not what we want, of course. We want lots of different nodes on the network to have a chance to be the winner. So proof of stake uses a very interesting mechanism with cryptographic hashes called a commit and reveal scheme in order to pick this winner. If all the nodes on the network simply picked a random number and published it on the blockchain, other nodes that got there a little bit later in the process could generate their own random number in such a way that it manipulated the results of this algorithm. They could put a random number um, on the blockchain in such a way that when combined with the other random numbers would work out in their favor. We don't want this to occur because we want this process to be as random as possible. So what we do instead, and what my toy algorithm does, is each node generates their own random number and hides it using a cryptographic hash. A cryptographic hash is a one-way function that takes some input and always gives the same output for that input. But a key property of these is you can't tell what the input was based on the output of the hash function. This is something called pre-image resistance. So in our proof of stake algorithm, all the nodes in the network that are participating in the block selection process first publish only the hash of their random number. This is called the commit phase. So all the nodes on the network say, hey, this is the hash of my random number that I'm committing for this selection period. Next, there is the reveal part of the scheme, where all the nodes on the network show the actual random number um, that was used to generate that hash. Now, all the nodes can see this random number and combine them all together to pick the winner. But in order to penalize anybody who would try to break the rules and uh, swing the odds in their favor, each node will validate the commit hash of the revealed entropy for each other node. This means that, um, again, since with a hash, the input always gives the same output, you can take that uh, revealed random number, run it through the hash, and make sure that it is the same exact hash that was committed in the earlier stage. In this way, all the nodes on the network can come together to um, put together a combined random number without anybody cheating and trying to swing the odds in their favor. Now again, once we have all the revealed entropy and we've validated that uh, the commits match, we can use some simple mechanism to combine the entropy together. In this case, uh, all I'm doing is using a simple bitwise XOR. 
Now we have a random number to pick our winner with. But something else we want to do with proof of stake is reward those that stake a higher amount and therefore would have a higher penalty if they do something wrong with a greater chance of being selected as uh, the block validator. So once we have our random number, we can use a weighted random selection algorithm to pick the actual winner. So for this toy example, I'm using a simple 8-bit hash scheme and 8-bit number um, to do all of this math because it's small and it's easy to work with and easy to visualize, especially on something like a small screen. Um, each node in this simulation generates an 8-bit number, runs it through a simple but not cryptographically secure hash function for the commit, and then does the reveal scheme. Once that number is available, I XOR them all together to get the final random value. And the weighted selection algorithm I use um, is fairly simple as well. Since I know I'm going to have a value between 0 and 255, which is all the possible numbers in 8 bits, I simply calculate the percentage of each node um, from the total stake and then sort of divide that up between 0 and 255 to pick the node index of the winner. So again, this is a toy algorithm that demonstrates the concept of a proof of stake algorithm. There's a lot more complexity that goes into the code uh, for something like Ethereum or another proof of stake blockchain. But I think this really demonstrates the core concepts in an interesting way that's a little bit easier to understand. It's easy to look at numbers from 0 to 255 and a toy hash algorithm and doing a weighted selection for something like three nodes and understand what's going on. So the code for this simulation is available on the Chain Tutorials GitHub and runs on Adafruit microcontrollers. Um, as well, you could probably modify this code to um, simply output uh, to serial on your PC and that sort of thing, or run it on the command line. It's free and open source as always, so tinker to your heart's content. As well, a while back I did a visual demo of proof of work, also using some Adafruit microcontrollers. So if you're interested in learning about proof of work consensus, there's another toy algorithm out there for you to play with. As always, I hope you found this tutorial interesting and informative, and thank you for learning something new with me today.